Shout out Corner Time. So I'd like to say thank you for all who commented yesterday. Miss Helen Tat, thank you for the comment. Your friend UIU, thanks for the idea and the comment. Leo Lash MLBB. So always watch the video, bro. Muhammad Hanif Sajid, thanks for the comment. Balakrishnan M, thank you for the comment. Appreciate it, bro. Vincent too, thanks for the comment and thank you that you're learning a lot from this channel. Karim Mustafa, thanks for the comment. I appreciate you, bro. Killmonger892. Destructo, our new subscriber. And Maaz Absal, our new subscriber. Welcome to the 2300 Gaming community. And always like and subscribe and let's start. Hi guys, welcome back to 2300 Gaming. So I'm gonna be talking about uh, how to beat Chizuru because I think Chizuru, the event Chizuru is one of the best things that Netmarble has given us because like you can grind your way there and then get a free card, the Ignis set which is also good for player PvE and PvP content. Okay, so here I've uh, showed you previously um, some tips on how to do the epic quest as well so I'm gonna be doing that with Saishu the epic quest Saishu and the epic quest the what's this one the false conspiracy Yashiro so I'm gonna do it in this video okay so we'll start with Chizuru that's why Shermi is here because Shermi is the best character to be in the Chizuru quest it she can be like low level level 80 uh, as long as uh, she has like cooldown cards if she has cooldown cards great if not like just whichever cards you want as long as she's level 80 because the thing is with Shermi she has like two shock damage the first and second skill and she has a lockdown as well so see look at this one it's the Ignis set that gives 12% of attack and all of its uh, course the CP it's all uh, attack so this is also if you're really really patient you can grind this one every day until you get the whole set card and it will boost your PvE and PvP content exponentially okay you can really get ahead of the pack if you have this because the thing is like the Kula set the Kula vacation set the previous uh, free to play set it's not really free to play anymore because you cannot get option card uh, you cannot get set option set cards anymore okay you can just get her in random and the only uh, the only thing is the option cards are the only one you can get free so i suggest if you get option cards you, you can get it in the in the championship get that and then uh, exchange it with cooldown cards so that's advisable so i'm running uh, so ignis is not really strong so i'm not gonna be running ignis he's really weak at, uh, at the moment he's level 70 i haven't upgraded him yet i'm just using him for pvp but geese and orochi for me is strong here because geese has also shock damage and the cooldown is really quick plus he also has immunity and i'll show you why geese is also good here and but we're gonna show you showcase you first why shermi is the best character in the chizuru event you can also use uh, lady yashiro but lady yashiro is difficult to get unlike shermi you can get it in the selector when you're a little bit new or mid game you can get the selector so what i did previously with the selector i chose uh, Shermi because I haven't pulled her yet so when I was a little bit newer so I got the selector I'm really having a hard time in the in Chizuru Chizuru event so I did the selector and chose Shermi I really don't care I just want to push like push uh, PVE content so that's why I chose her and I don't have strong cards previously so that's why and look at her now just spam her skills Thankfully, she's awakened. That's gonna be faster. But even though if she's not awakened, you can still destroy uh, event quest Chizuru here. Uh, uh, yeah, the event quest Chizuru. You can still lock her down. First and second skill will cause uh, shock damage. Just like this. And then, yeah. She's gonna... And that's it. She will not attack anymore. When with the cooldown cards, so... Um, Maxima cards or the... K and Kula cards that strategic retreat and what other one? What's that? 
And the other one was that again? The Maxi Marauders piece? Anyways, just map, uh, cooldown cards, equip that, and then you're good to go. Even if you don't have that strong set cards, as long as you have cooldown cards, or even if you don't have cooldown no, cooldown cards, just put a 5-star card there. Increase that CP of that card, provided like what I gave in the advice, like if you have um, the free... The free... Uh, what's this? In the event, the baseball event, if you have that card, you can use that. That's also a good thing to upgrade. So, 5-star card, just get their CP, and that's it. That's it. So, it's advisable to get a cooldown cards. Even if you don't have, like, good set cards, if you have a cooldown card, you're good to go. And, I'm gonna show you, nobody's using geese in this, uh, in this Chizuru, I'm not quite sure, but like for me, <laughs> I've just discovered that Geese is for me the strongest red unit with regards to damage, okay? In, in the yellow, Lady Zero is the strongest yellow damage unit. And for me, the red would be Geese Howard. He's also good in PvP. If you catch people sleeping, cast his second skill, it's auto-stun on after the skill ends. And then use his uh, first and second skills because it crits really hard. And then they're gonna melt. He also can. He also is viable in the Gonits event, the event Gonits. So you already have. If you have geese, you can upgrade geese for that event Gonits and this event Chizuru as well. So what I'm doing now here, I'm just spamming skills. His third skill is the one that gives the the shock damage. So just roll and roll. Second skill is also Im uh, immune damage. So I'm gonna show you. Um, how great is the immune damage because compared to Shermi, Geese Howard, this Chizuru will be attacking, okay? She's not gonna be locked down, but like with Geese kit, kit skills, active skills, he's still gonna be destroying Lady, like uh, Event Chizuru. I think Geese is much faster in clearing this rather than Orochi Shermi. So usually I'm using Geese and Orochi Shermi clearing this lady. See this one. He's gonna cast the stone, right? So you, you get that. Get the stone so that you're immune to damage. But the problem is if you're hitting her for a long time, that immune damage will pass. So when she's gonna be shouting, you cast Geese Howard's second skill to immune damage. See? Okay, see? Immune. I know that she's gonna be shouting and then cast the second skill and look at that damage with the critical hits. She just melted there. And that's it. She's down. He's much quicker. The damage is really strong. So, for early game players, I suggest you upgrade. First, you upgrade Charmy up to level 80. Get the live championship. Get an option card. And then exchange it with cooldown cards. Okay. With Geese, it's the same. Geese is like cooldown cards is the best for me in the game for putting in option cards because it can uh, turn around your skills faster. So, as you can see, that's the power of Geese. That's why there's lightning on his uh, background. <laughs> and after that, I'm going to show you this really cool skill. The thing is, like, I'm going to spend all of my, my tickets here to upgrade so that I'm not going to waste my uh, AP. Because I, was, I had 300 AP earlier. So that not to waste that, I'm going to use my... My tickets to do the cards and then level it up and then so I'm not gonna waste my AP the 300 AP because I've used that with the cards and then it will level it up again so if you're almost to the to your level almost to your level there you go to the card quest because that ex expends a lot of AP you spend all of your AP there and then you will level up and then gain the, another AP so that you're not gonna waste some of your APs previously so here, now in the epic quest, that's why Nameless, for me, Nameless, Orochi Shermi, and Lady Sh Yashiro are one of the best PvE, PvP content that you can level it up. So this is my advice, you level these people up if you have them in your roster, okay? So Andy Bogart, I'm using him because of his uh, leadership skill that decreased burn damage by 50%. Um, I'm not gonna be just following like tips and tricks, I'm just gonna YOLO this. Andy Bogart is really good to prevent 
the damage instead of uh, my characters getting 10,000 damage I'm just gonna get 5,000 plus nameless is really tanky as well and also like geese nameless also has an immune damage on his third skill and I'm using also Valentine Kula because she also has immunity on her second skill so she's not gonna take that much damage so I'm equipping them with Mr. Big Set which I got from the Gonitz event Nameless with Takaya set and Kula as you saw earlier I've equipped her already with the Ryugo set just to make her more tanky because this technique in the epic quest uh, Saishu the first uh, the first stage you don't want to touch Saishu here you just spam your combo get away spam your combo okay if you cast your immunity then you go in okay but when the immunity ends you back away okay if you if you don't back away he will interrupt all, all of your uh, skills and then the damage is really high so yeah just use the second skill and spam your skills now so even though it's you know what's revolving around Saishu there it's like attack so you need to use attack type monsters but I don't really care this is nameless we're talking about so even if it's not like with the requirements I'm still gonna be using him that's why everybody's telling Orochi Shermi, Nameless, Lady Zero, and then you're set to go. Okay? If you have them in your roster. Okay? Because like some people are asking like who's the good PvE, PvE, PvE monster, PvE monster. So PvE and PvP for me, Nameless, if you upgrade them, that's good. Nameless and Lady Zero is the best PvE for me. PvE, pound for pound. And then Orochi Shermi on the side because of her lockdown with with uh, Chizuru. Just imagine if you have this three roster here, Orochi Shermi, Lady Zero, I, or if you have Geese, like Geese, Nameless, and even Lady Zero, that's it. Geese, Orochi, uh, Geese, Lady Zero, and Nameless. So you can clear Mecha Gonitz event there with those three. And then push content. And that's it. Like, just spam your skills here. Always use, always activate your third skill to be immune to damage so that you're not afraid to go in with Saishu because it's gonna interrupt your skills so back away just what I'm doing then if you have your third skill you spam it again go near then always cast your super if it's always ready cast your super cast your super spam your skills and if you see uh, a Makusa there you cast you cast that uh, striker so that you can get a heal See, look at the heal. It offsets the damage. And then with Andy Bogart's uh, innate leadership skill, the damage would be lower. So I'm just spamming the skills. Hope you guys are liking this video, like tips and tricks, because the thing is like the PvP is not yet there. So hopefully you're enjoying this, and hopefully you're getting, uh, you're learning bits and pieces going to your progression. Okay, as you saw in my uh, previous earlier videos that I don't have like epic buffs, like I only have level 9 epic buff on this episode 0. So but still, I'm still uh, clearing it with the use of characters that are always available to us like because we have the selector, you need to select nameless there. If you don't have nameless, if you still have that selector and still you're thinking about who's to choose and you don't have nameless, you choose nameless hands down. So... Yep, that update is available. I'm not doing that. Come on, come on. Okay. So just spam skills, spam, spam, spam. Thankfully, I got my 3PG with the PT. So I got the 3PG for Nameless. So that's it. He's gonna be down. So Andy Bogart, the blue Andy is really good. If you don't have Mai, the swimsuit Mai, I rather you have Andy Bogart. He's just a bronze. Even if you don't upgrade him, it's fine. Just to get that leadership skill. Because like Nameless and uh, Nameless will just do will just destroy this character. So we'll proceed with uh, False Conspiracy Yashiro. So in this in this uh, in this quest, we're gonna be using Lady Zero. So Lady Zero, we're gonna swap Andy, we're gonna put Lady Zero, Nameless, and yeah, Kula. Whoever has that immune damage, I'm just gonna put them there. So that's what uh, that's my mentality. Immune damage because false conspiracy conspiracy Yashiro disrupts your attacks as well. And 
He doesn't really care. Even if you put stun, stun, stun strikers, he's not gonna get stunned. Because if he activates his skill like the, um, when he gets wild, even your stun strikers will not affect him. So I'm just gonna swap uh, Andy Bogart. So let's swap him with Lady Zero. So my Lady Zero doesn't have a 5 PG card, but still. So even if you don't have a 5 PG, as long as you have the character, you can still use her. Okay? Like whoever like has uh, Gintoki. I know even if you don't have the, the 3 PG of Gintoki, if you have Gintoki, then you can play with him. As, as long as you can play with your character, that's fine. Even if it's not complete. I don't have a, like a 3 PG of Psyche, but I still play him. So, but thankfully I got it in a... Uh, in a draw, so I got already the Kasumi of uh, Psyche, so I'm got, he's now on full potential, full evolved Psyche there because he has a 3 PG. So here, you just do the same as uh, Saishu. This is much easier because at least there's no burn damage. But you need to, after spamming your skills, you need to run away, back away. Then don't don't go near him or else he's gonna he's gonna attack you. Just go away and spam your skills. The good thing about uh, Lady Zero, she has the Petrify, so uh, Miyashiro will be locked down. Then yes, just, just spam your skills. If it's awakened, if Lady Zero is awakened, much better. If it's not, then it's okay as well. As long as you just back away and you spam your skills. See, if that one, see, it's shining red. Like, if you have a red unit, if he hits you, if he's like that, it's auto KO for a red unit. So just be careful. Let it pass. If you have a red unit doing this, you just roll and back away. That one is now purple. If you get hit while him getting angry like that, so your purple damage dealer will uh, be erased. So thankfully, I'm using Lady Zero. So she's not purple, she's yellow. So I can just spam her skins. Now it's yellow. See, See, look at that. I was hit. One hit and then I'm dead. So I'm a little I got a little bit careless there. So just watch the colors. So don't go near him if it, the color is the same as your character. You just spam your skills. So but nameless will be I think nameless will just destroy this guy. So now it's blue. Thankfully. It's not violet. It's not purple, sorry. <laughs> So, yep, just spam your skills and spam your skills like that. So, again, guys, thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying my content. Thank you for the people who stick with me through thick and thin. And the people who's commenting in my videos, I acknowledge you. And I'm really, really thankful of your support. We're now 225, I think, or 224 at the moment. From zero now, we're like 200 plus, and I'm really happy for your support, guys. Hopefully, you keep supporting me. Spread the word that there's a new YouTuber with KOF content, and I hope we reach 1,000 subscribers within a year. That would be a great milestone in my channel, and I hope you stick around when that happens. So now, he's now angry. Like and subscribe and comment. So, comment if you're enjoying my video. So, comment if I've helped your uh, progression grow so i th i think hopefully i'm helping guys i'm helping you guys out with this videos okay and then i'm excited really for the pvp so that i can play again with the pvp and help you guys and tips and tricks on how to to approach certain enemies on the game so but before before that happens i'm just gonna be teaching you guys what am i doing in the pve side of things so he's almost gonna die here it's gonna roll run away <laughs> nameless is like a scaredy cat like run away bro then cast it yeah see his immune damage if he got hit by that if he's not immune damage he's gonna he's gonna melt away so see he's getting wild even with the super uh, hopefully i win this just run away i need to cast my <laughs> immune damage run away run away yeah nice oh see 
I'm immune to damage. She swap, 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 swap. Nice. So if that happens, if he cast the super, I almost died there. So Lovely Kula is my uh, insurance policy. So that's immune damage on Lovely Kula as well. Spam your skills. She's good at like uh, long range attacks. And Nameless will finish this one off. And he's down. Down for the count. So that's that's my tip for today. Uh, the event Chizuru, you choose Orochi Shermi or Geese. You equip cooldown cards or just 5 star cards as long as like it's a viable card for them. And what can I say with Nameless and Lady Zero? They're the best PvE pound for pound characters here. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you keep supporting this channel and like and subscribe guys and as you know um, as you can see here PvP PvE or PvP nameless and lady zero as long as you have them you're good to go okay you're gonna push a lot of content having them and you put Orochi Shermi and you're set if you have a red unit Rugal or Geese would be okay but any red unit will do even Elizabeth will do okay so again Thank you guys. This is 2300 Gaming. And I'll see you on the next video. And I'm out. Peace.